caught on camera tonight, a woman's chilling encounter in broad daylight, face to face with a bad guy and a gun. Her truck stolen along with her sense of security. She's telling her story only on two tonight. It's not just one, but two gunmen ambushing that woman, carjacking her at the point of a gun. This happened on Gester near Fairdale and just within the past few hours, there's been a break in the case. Our Roseanne Aragon joining us live in that neighborhood with those developing details tonight. Roseanne? That's right. This all started when she was waking up this morning and walking to her car to get her coffee mug. This is her home behind me, a place she thought was safe until this morning. Um, that's crazy. I can't believe I had a gun in my face. Carla Garcia never thought her morning quest for coffee me, here at Central Park would turn into this. We were probably right here. The same place where around 7 Thursday morning she'd be held at gunpoint. And I was walking back to my apartment. Um, and there was a silver Chevy Impala with fake license plates driving past, and I heard they kind of passed me. Caught on surveillance video, she sees the same car passing once and then again, except the second time. I heard the voice say, excuse me, ma'am, but when I turned around, he like jumped out at me with a gun in my face and said, give me your keys. She was terrified. I didn't know what to do. Like I was trying to pay attention to details without them figuring me out and pulling the trigger. After asking for her phone, which she didn't have, he then takes her truck and both vehicles drive off. As soon as I was out of their sight and I knew it, I just sprinted to my apartment, grabbed my phone and dialed 911. And Little did she know her quick action would help. Just hours later, police say they recovered her Sierra 1500 at the Walmart parking lot on Sam Houston Parkway. Investigators say the two 18-year-olds had tried to sell it. It just so happens they tried to sell it to an undercover officer involved in a sting up. And I am fortunate that I happened to leave my phone Police tell me the two suspects were arrested and will likely be charged both with aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon. Garcia says she is thankful for police and has since gotten her truck back. Reporting live in Southwest Houston, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Great.